In HealthWorks, be warned as we enjoy this burst of spring color, it is going to be one of the worst allergy seasons in 10 years. Spring is sooner recognized by plants than by men, says a Chinese proverb, and right about now the plants are celebrating new life after a rather mild snowy season. Why is this such a bad year for allergies? You know, when we have a milder winter season, the spring pollens come out uh, uh, early and very robust. They're worse than they've ever been. They've given more headaches, hard breathing, eyes watering. Robust pollen production is, after all, how plants spread their love. But Dr. Bahrain Walla tells me those microscopic plant particles are everywhere. It sticks in the eyes, uh, gets in the nose, sinuses, air passages. That can lead to sneezing, itchy eyes, nose and throat, and in kids, what's called the allergic salute, the constant upward rubbing of the nose. The air conditioner is running in the house even though I don't need it on, but it's to get rid of the pollen. And remember, tree pollen in the spring is only the beginning of our allergic adventure. Then in June, the grass pollen season starts. So that's a whole another problem. Usually allergies can be controlled with either prescribed or over-the-counter medication. You can also also stay inside from 5 to 10 in the morning or on dry windy days when counts are highest and wash those pollens right out of your hair before bed and just remember allergies are nothing to sneeze at more than any other chronic illness allergies is the number one reason in America for patients missing work and children missing their school. There's one way to anticipate what kind of day you're going to have. By keeping track of the pollen count, I'll put a link to a map that will do just that on myfoxdetroit.com. That's HealthWorks. I'm Dina Santafonte.